What is going on YouTube King Reg and we are back and today I'm going to be bringing you guys an absolutely screaming blitz that is going to work on next gen and current gen that is going to get crazy pressure even if they block six and if they block five it is coming home every single time. All right guys, so an absolute screamer on the way. Now we are gonna be continuing my nickel 335 Sam defensive scheme out of the Seattle Seahawks playbook. Now this is gonna be my match coverage defensive scheme, my defensive ebook. Now I'm gonna leave a link down in the description guys. It is gonna be the playlist for this entire scheme. You should definitely check it out after this video if you haven't seen the videos yet. So far we have the intro video, really important video, really break down the idea with this scheme. And then the second video out so far is my, my cover four quarters full breakdown of how that defense works and how we're going to use it to really take it to the next level. Now let's get into this play guys. So nickel 335 Sam and we're going to pick the blitz buck slant show two. Now why should you use this blitz? Now the first reason guys we are going to have both our safeties back on this play. So it's going to look very similar to our match coverage. Everybody's lining up in basically the same spot. There's one or two little differences but it's going to look very similar. Now this is just going to help us disguise our blitz. They're going to send everybody out on routes or they're only going to block one they're not going to slide their protection to the blitz and we are going to get home super super consistently now the second reason guys we are only blocking five on this play now if they send out their running back if they send out their tight end out on routes we are going to get home basically every single time it is going to be super fast crazy pressure off the edge and then even if they leave their running back into block guys this blitz still gets home the, the rusher on the outside comes in from a weird angle that the running back doesn't pick up maybe like 60% of the time. So even if they block six guys, we are gonna get absolute heat. Then the last reason guys, because we are only bringing five on this play, that means we get to drop six players out in the coverage. Now this is really nice because this is gonna give us a really solid coverage shell on the back end and not really gonna leave us any super bad holes. So even if the blitz doesn't come through or they're able to hold it for half a second longer than we thought, we're still not gonna be totally screwed in coverage. All right guys, so the only adjustment really for this blitz, it is so simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna pin pinch our linebackers. That is it. You're going to notice the linebackers are just going to squeeze a little bit closer. That is it. That's just going to really help with our blitz angles. It's going to help with the corner coming off the edge. So that is it guys. And then one other kind of note is we are going to use the non-blitzing linebacker in the middle. So we're going to pinch down and we're going to use the non-blitzing linebacker. Now, the only thing, once they snap the ball, we want to kind of just hover in the middle of the field, maybe take one step towards the center, then we're going to back out. That is it. So we're still rushing five, still going to come in really, really well. Even if you don't do that, guys, it's going to come in, but this just makes it, you know, makes the line just hold in for a half a second longer. The blitz is going to come in more consistent. Now, some of our optional adjustments, guys, these are really just our coverage adjustments on the back end, how we can kind of just, you know, set up our coverage in different scenarios. So the the first coverage adjustment we can do guys is just simply shade down. Now what this is going to do is this is going to put two hard flats on the field. Now when I really like this guys is like first and 10, second and 10 or like third and one, third and two and we want to bring this blitz. We do not want to, them to be able to get the ball out of their hands quick. We want to make them hold the ball for that extra half second and you know we're going to take away any of their hard reads. Then the second optional adjustment guys we can shade up. Now what this is going to do is this is going to convert our flat defenders into curl flats. Now this is nice when I kind of use this if it's third and 14 we don't care if they hit a little flat route for seven yards. We're going to rally come make a tackle but we don't want any Thing getting over our head so this is going to help on those you know corner routes some deeper out routes it won't do great against deep crossers but it'll do okay and then the last kind of optional thing we can do it's not really adjustment is you can just leave it stock you can leave these flat defenders on seam flats now what this is going to do guys if you notice whenever you call this blitz they're really you know sending verticals up your seam now these guys are going to ride those seam players up the seam and it's not going to give them those quick hole shots in you know with our single high safety in the middle of the field so those are our three optional adjustments guys kind of when i would use them all right now let's get into the gameplay and really show you how effective this blitz is all right guys if you like what you are seeing leave a like on this video for your boy it just really helps the video helps it get out there to more people and just really helps my channel grow all right guys so here's our blitz third and six so right here call hard flats it's up to you like i said mess with those flat defenders see which one you kind of like but here i would call th hard flats so like i said we're going to use the non-blitzing linebacker that is the only adjustment 
adjustment guys pinch him we see our linebackers are tight almost heels beside each other so right here guys we're gonna let this run watch our user we're just gonna hover there take maybe one half step in then we're gonna bail out now we look on this side of the field guys our nickel blitz is gonna be blitzing from this wide angle then the, this player is this looping blitz guys that really is gonna hold the tackle look at this we have everybody on this side of the field they're trying to shift four linemen to this side to take our four rushers but they're just have no shot this nickel get a fast nickel guys who's gonna come in quick is just too fast getting into the backfield we get a really nice sack super quick pressure we actually force a fumble and we're able to recover it on that play okay here it is against gun bunch guys super nice so once again user the non-blitzing linebacker it's gonna be the linebacker away from the nickel right so nickel this is the looper we're gonna use this player here so right here guys once again bringing it against gun bunch gonna work very well they're actually blocking their running back on this play so they have six blockers we're bringing five right here we have this looping pressure guys look at this they have all these blockers trying to account for these players the running back is actually gonna eye up this looping blitzer because in its logic this guy's free he's being unblocked so this is going to leave the nickel just to run right by the running back get in the backfield for a huge sack okay here we go again guys so third and 12 we've seen the purple flash on the screen so we're in curl flats on this one we're not going to let anything you know get in over our head so once again we're going to use her this player guys take a little half step in just hold in the middle of the field for a second then we're going to bail out once again running back blocking on the play we have this looping blitzer we have three linemen on three you know d linemen or and, we, and our nickel the the running back is super late noticing the nickel back and we get in the backfield we look at our user guys we're taking away this hot read in the middle of the field he's really trying to force the ball down the field there is absolutely nothing home okay now we're going to look at a few where the cup you know with just some good coverage so for some reason it says this player is manned up here but he wasn't the madden 22 it, there's some of the play art gets absolutely ridiculous on the back end but that's not really important so right here guys it's a play action fake and now the running back because with this play action he's actually shooting to that side of the the field he's actually gonna pick up this player here does a little bit better of a job and now the running back or the quarterback you know feels the pressure he's like okay hey, i gotta get the ball out of my hands very quickly we have this seam route here guys we see this guy is dropping back it's third and 22 so we're getting you know i'm pretty sure i said play the stick on this play we're in the middle of the field as the user taking away this route and we have our deep middle safety guys ed reed high pointing the football for a really nice pick okay one more quick one guys so i want to show you this is another thing that you will see happen so right here i didn't really take the best step in for whatever reason and this tackle is able to pick up our nickel back but when the tackle pick up the nickel back, guys, we are actually going to see our looping blitzer is going to come home free. So even if the tackle shoots out to the nickel back, what you're going to see is that looper, that other linebacker is going to get home a lot of the time. We look on the back end, guys kind of glitched out there we look on the back end hard flat here you know running over here the user was taking these two players here there's really nothing and we force our opponent to throw it away all right guys that is it be on the lookout for my next video it is going to be a full breakdown of the cover four palms defense